Okay, let's learn how to remove audio. That is any audio that we do not want in one of or all of our clips. So you can see I have two pieces of audio here. This is a typical audio interview. And right here I have some over talk, right? This person here, the interviewer, talks over the interviewee and we just wanna get rid of this. There is several ways to do that. One of the first things you wanna make sure you have visible in order to use one of the techniques we're gonna use are these yellow lines. So simply go up to view and make sure that show clip volume envelopes is checked. You can see it's checked there. I can uncheck it, they're gone. We wanna make sure it's checked so they are there. And that is simply the level of our volume and we can click and drag this around to change that, but that's not what we're doing here. And as well, this is where keyframes exist. There's a keyframe on a volume, there's a keyframe, there's a keyframe, and I could drag just this piece of volume down using keyframes, but we will get rid of that. That's just to show you some of what the volume envelope does. All right, so the easiest way to get rid of this piece of audio without affecting the audio below it or without changing the overall length of the clip is to simply delete it. So you could simply go to your razor tool. You can come up here and click this or select R, which is what I prefer. Hotkeys are gonna save you a lot of time. Click somewhere in the section before the audio and you can click after the audio. And then you can just go to the move tool or hotkey letter V, select the part of the clip you want gone and press the delete key. Now I'll command Z to get rid of that edit that we did. Another way is to, again, use the razor tool. So R, select a portion, cut before the audio you want gone. And then you'll see when we're on the cut line here, you'll see that my cursor changes to that little bracket and the arrows going one way or the other. When you go to the cut mark of any point here, you can see the bracket changes from left to right or right to left, left to right, right to left. You can simply click, hold, and drag the audio. And now that piece of audio is gone as well. So let's get rid of that. Another way is to make this portion silent. And this is where we're using the volume envelopes. So we'd use our time selection tool up here, or T. We would select the portion of audio we want silenced. And you can see that because I'm working on the clip with the portion of the audio that I want silenced, this clip is also highlighted. This becomes a really bright color, whatever color your clip is. So you'll see here, when I highlight this clip, this becomes bright, this becomes dim, this clip becomes bright this becomes dim. So this lets you know what clip you're on, and if I move to another clip, I can simply click to highlight it. When you make your time selection, you click and drag. Okay, let's say we weren't highlighted. We go up here, we click, drag. Now this clip is highlighted. This one is not. So what you would do is you can click, drag, make your selection, and you can right click, and you'll get a bunch of options, and if you come down to silence selected clips, in time selection. So this area here, all this white area, that's our time selection, right? The portion of audio we want to get rid of. And it said, silence selected clips in time selection. Well, we only have this clip selected. So it's the only portion that's gonna get silence. So again, if I right click after I highlight and select this, there you go. You can see that the volume envelope using keyframes, that audio has been dropped out completely. So that silence, so that portion of the clip is now effectively silenced. So we'll solo this track so we hear only this track and we will go back to where it wasn't silenced and we'll listen to the sort of spoke over portion. Ah, okay. You can hear that. And if we again, right click and hit silence selected clip in time selection, 
Now we've selected it and silenced it, it's gone. Using this time selection method for a clip, again, we can select it by clicking, dragging, and highlighting. And now, since again, this is the only clip selected, if you simply hit the delete key, that's gone. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Now you can get some weird effects when you go from audio, even when that audio, it looks quiet, it may be a subtle background noise and it drops out to nothing, that will be noticeable. You can see you get these options for fades here. This is a very easy way to click, drag a fade. This can make that transition less noticeable. But we will also add effects that during all silent portions, the audio will sort of be brought down. So these cuts won't be as noticeable if you're going to insert silence or remove audio. But these adding these fades can be also a great way to mask that transition. But if there's enough noise in the silent parts, it will be noticeable. But that's for another video. So again, maybe the easiest way to remove is to use the time selection tool, click, drag, highlight, and hit the delete key. It's gone. What's nice about the silence option, when we select selected clips in time selection, the keyframes again give us that option to sort of make that transition less harsh. So if we see this keyframe here, this little diamond, you can click and make it active and you can drag it and now it adds fades on other sides. So that's another way to add fades but I wouldn't worry too much about that. And one final thing I like to do, if this is a process you're interested in, you're going to use it quite often, likely, then I wanna make this option a hotkey. Okay, so something on the keyboard that makes sense to me, that easily lets me press one key and perform this function. That'll speed up your edits considerably. So let's create a hotkey or a keyboard shortcut for silence selected clips in time selection. So we'll go up to edit keyboard shortcuts or option K. And we'll simply type in silence in our search function here. So you can see I don't even have to complete the word. And we have several options. Here is our silence selected clips in time selection. So you can highlight this, simply press the add button and it comes up with an empty box and you select whatever keyboard shortcut you want. In my case, I'm gonna use Option S. So I held down Option and pressed S. Now you can see when I select Option S, I'm going to get this process or command on my clip. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Your keyboard will change to a custom keyboard, that's just fine. You can save it as your own preset if you want. Otherwise, it can just be this custom preset. So hit OK. Let's go back to our portion that we want silenced. We click, drag, highlight, and hit Option S. And now you can see it's been silenced. The keyframes have worked. So again, just another way to accomplish the same thing. So that is the various ways we can remove a piece of audio without affecting the other clips in our edit or affecting the length, the total length of the actual interview or the overall recording. Okay, have fun.